Hello, beautiful Aquarius, and welcome to your soul coaching session with me, Angel, your spiritual life and self-actualization coach. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Aquarius placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. The information for that is listed in the description box below. And for a limited time, if you subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family, you can also receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell. I would love to have you as a part of the Soul Joiner family. So this is all about aligning to true meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now. So whenever you come across this reading Aquarius, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. Spirit, what are the messages that you have for the beautiful soul sign of Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? Alrighty, and so it is. I love it when spirit makes it nice and easy for me. You have the energy of shadow. All right. I love this energy because a lot of times we often think about the energy of shadow as being something negative. The shadow is not negative energy. In fact, all things that come into f fruition or existence starts in the energy of the shadow or the dark, right? It's like the, um, the seed of conception and the energy of a light where there is nothing but complete darkness. So there's this energy here of the shadow. I love it, integrating the shadow, really learning how to use the shadow to manifest and create. The shadow is the energy of our intuition. It's where our deepest thoughts are held. It's also the energy of where our most significant power lies, right? Like the sacral energy. Sexual energy also comes through with this energy. How do we use the energy of our shadow to manifest? So let's see. What is this energy saying for the beautiful soul sign of Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know, Spirit, for their highest vibrational good? Messages for Aquarius. For their highest vibrational good. Thank you, Spirit. And so it is. I am so grateful. I trust that these messages find you in sound mind, body, and spirit. So why are we here, Aquarius? Oh, energy of overcoming sorrow. This is an energy of, you know, overcoming the shadow and the energy of overcoming sorrow. When you're in the darkest place, who do you lean on? What is your source of hope? What is your source of inspiration? What is the energy source that you draw upon to bring you out of the darkness back into the light? How do you handle difficult situations, situations that bring you heartache, situations that bring you pain? How do you handle your sorrow and your grief? How do you turn that energy into something that can be productive, something that you can use. The energy of three talks about I create, I make, I do. So coming up in the energy of the I, why we're here, the focusing and intention of your reading, it's really talking about you understanding how you have been a part, right? An integral part in the creation of the hardships, the heartbreaks, the sorrow, and the pain that you've experienced in the past. Because once we know better, we can do better. And once you're aware of the part that you play in the situations that you experience in your life, everything is a cause and effect, then you're able to change and make better decisions moving forward. So let's see, what's going on with the sorrow and the reason why we're here? There's something here about the shadow. So we'll get to that a little bit later, but let's continue and see what this energy is all about. What's going on in your connections? You have a brand new beginning in connection. 
and brand new beginnings and connections and relationships um, love has been coming up for you a lot lately and so i'm really thinking that this is something that spirit wants you to heal they want you to go deep into your shadow do some shadow work around relationships around sorrow and grief so that you can heal this in order to bring in a new opportunity now this new opportunity that's coming in it's something that's going to be stable balanced and abundant it's something that's going to be prosperous it's something that you can truly use to build upon remember how we were talking about the energy of the shadow we place the seed in the soil which is completely dark and from that darkness the same with our womb and our children that we birth as women it's in that safe space it's in that cocoon it's in that nest it's an aquas nest it's a comfortable nest it's also a very dark place but through that darkness we learn not to see with our physical eyes but how to see with our entombment with our soul with spirit with our intuition and so there's this energy here of you doing the shadow work to overcome past heartbreak so that you can actually have a new beginning in love or connection let's see what's the energy vibration that you're currently in Aquarius yeah you want it you're attracting in some loving energy you are having something or someone come in who wants to offer you a genuine cup of love. They want to court you. That's one of the things that I love about the Knight of Cups. I know a lot of times the Knight of Cups will get a bad rap. Mr. Casanova, romance and all the women. And, you know, that's not always the case. This is someone who's coming in with a genuine offer, genuine offer of connection. They feel a connection with you. They want to come in and offer you a genuine cup of love or a genuine offer of connection, and they want to court you. This is dating. This is going out together. This is getting to know each other. This is building a friendship. This is building a partnership that is based on truth and honesty and really being open and authentic with our feelings. But there's also a considerable amount of soul work there's a considerable amount of shadow work that you need to do, especially if you haven't gotten over past sorrows, past heartbreaks and pain. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to carry any of this residual unsolved, I mean, unhealed energy into brand new beginnings because then it taints the soil, right? It taints the new beginning and it causes conflict and difficulty as it moves forward. So let's see what's going on in your body, home and environment some kind of stress or anguish here there's something here that keeps you up at night i'm not really feeling like it's specifically related to relationships this is something that's coming in from the external energy but this is something that's going on in your home that keeps you stressed and worried at night this is an energy of like trying to figure out what to do trying to make sense of things this is also an energy that talks about suffering in silence not seeking help and support feeling as if though you have to do and accomplish everything on your own if the energy doesn't come out as to what this is about then we'll we'll pull some more cards on it to see with this nine of swords what are you stressing and worrying about aquarius you know best what's keeping you up at night this has to do with the environmental energy here so this could be home. This could also be sickness, right? Are you having issues with health? If you are having issues with yourself, what are you going to do to help to heal it? I'm getting plant-based energy here. Plant-based diet, diet change, changing of your diet, putting together a practical plan, an exercise plan, starting or doing something different or new. Drinking water. Water is a natural cleanser. It's also, we're made of what, 70 to 80% water? So really replenishing and cleansing your body is also important and key. What's going on in your, um, what's changing and with your finances? So finances are taking off for you. There's a huge change in your life. You're moving in a different direction in your life. Things may be moving very quickly. Maybe that's what's causing you some stress and worry around finances or around all of the massive changes that you have going on. Or you're just still, just, what I just heard and what Spirit just said, right, even though you have all of these wonderful, blessed new beginnings and new things that are happening and things are changing and changing very swiftly, things are taking off in your life, moving and, you know, it could be very positive directions. You're so stuck to the energy of how things have failed in the past, how things have not went well in the past, that it's almost like you're afraid of all of the blessings that are coming in. 
You're afraid of the new opportunities. You're afraid of how your life is changing and transforming. And a lot of that oftentimes has to do with the shadow aspects that's coming up, right? The ego and the aspects of ourselves that tell us that we're not good enough or we're not worthy or we're going to mess it up or you know you don't deserve anything and all of those negative, negative self-talks and perpetuated false beliefs about ourselves that make it to where we stay trapped in the same energy. But this is all is mind, right? You can change the narrative. You can change the way you see it, change your perspective. And that's what I'm feeling is needed here. There needs to be a change in perspective, a change in the way you think about things, a change in the way you see things so that you can have forward advancement and movement that is productive and not negative or not um, destructive. You want to have productive expressions and movement forward. But you're afraid that things are going to fail is how this energy is coming through. The Knight of Swords energy can be a little bit impulsive. It can be a little bit destructive. It can be an energy that is a little brash and doesn't really care. You know, a careless energy here that usually has consequences. Or it's a conflicting energy. It's an energy that brings in conflict and destruction and chaos and difficulties and problems to overcome. And it's almost like you're anticipating that is how this energy is coming through. You stay up stressing late at night because you're anticipating the shoe to drop. Because you haven't yet got comfortable with being in this space of love and grace. This is a brand new way of existing and living for you. And it's foreign territory. And so therefore you oftentimes will fall back on the same old maladaptive behaviors or maladaptive ways of coping. And that's through the energy of stress and worry. But those maladaptive ways aren't supporting you in the now. So we need to change, right? Have new plans, new structures, new ways of coping, new ways of dealing with stress, new ways of looking at life and relationships and things like that. Changing our perception and formatting it in a way that's more supportive. Let's see what's going on in your energy exchange and your connections. Your garden, yeah. Definitely guarded hmm. because of the past heartache and betrayals and pain. And it's like every time you open yourself up to someone or something new, you, re you get the same energy. But why do you think that is? Have you done the shadow work? Have you healed this energy? Have you forgiven past sorrows and pains? Are you harboring and holding on to the same resentment? Because if you're still holding on to resentment, you're still holding on to negative energy, you create more of the same. So you're guarding yourself when it comes to connections. You know, you, 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 you haven't quite given up on connections. You know, Nine of Wands is not a, a, um, is not a quitter. They continue to push forward. They're a warrior. But you're still guarded against it. And you still stress and worry about it. And, you know, you're always constantly, okay, what do I have to watch out for? It's like you're one foot in and one foot out. This is also an energy that also talks about fight or flight energy for me as well. Because this is an energy of someone who's always ready for the battle, always ready to fight. Because they always feel as if though they have to protect themselves. So this is the question for you, Aquarius. What do you need to protect yourself from and why? Let's see, what's going on in your past? Still focusing on the past. You can't fully move forward to this brand new beginning until you finally surrender and release the past. Release the past heartache. Release the past need to guard yourself. Re release distrust. You have to release it. It doesn't have a place in positive, productive energy. It only just creates more of the same lack mindset. So you're so focused on the past heartache, the past pain, the things that have happened in the past that you're losing focus of the blessings that is the future and what's coming in for you in the now. So stay focused on the now and not on the past, but you need to work through that energy with the shadow so you can transmute it, heal it and release it so that you can actually have the happiness, the new beginnings, the blessings, the abundance and the success that you want without always feeling as if though you have to guard it and protect it and, and you know, fight for it with all of your might. Let's see what's your spiritual practice, your spiritual practice. You need to be grounded. 
And this definitely has to do with family and how you were raised and early childhood experiences. So you need to go in and do the shadow work around the lessons that you learned in family, the lessons that you learned about giving and receiving love in family, the lessons that you learned about how to overcome sorrow and grief, the lessons that you learned about your ability to plant new seeds and manifest your desires, and also ways in which you cope and heal. What are the lessons that you learned? You can learn new lessons by educating yourself with new things, but also with the energy of not suffering in silence and opening up and talking and sharing that information with others. Opening up for support, which may be a hard thing for you to do as an Aquarius. It's hard to open up for support, but we are interconnected beings and not in independent beings. We are all connected. We need to be connected. That's a part of who we are as a social connected tribe. We help to uplift and support one another. None of us can exist on our own. We have to have the support of others. So staying grounded is going to be key for you. Staying grounded in healing and being open. Healing any of the past childhood wounding and issues that keep you stuck in this energy of, re of, of guilt, shame, and remorse, and also in the energy of sorrow and grief. How is your um, personal and professional development? You have something new that you're starting here. This could be a brand new beginning in work, brand new beginning in career. This is something that you're learning. You're learning something that is transforming you in your physical and also in your um, personal and professional development. So you're growing in personally and professionally, which is really good. You could have a lot of stress and worry about this personal and professional development. Am I going to be able to do the job? Am I going to be successful in what it is that I'm doing? You know, you have some fears and worries about that, but it's almost like, um, you know, they always say God doesn't give us any more than what we can handle. And if you are awarded something, it's because you're ready for it. And I am coining this particular year, year of 2023, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. This is an energy of preparation and planning. So making sure that you're always ready. So when these wonderful new blessings and opportunities that are going to help you to evolve in your life come in, you'll be able to monopolize and take advantage of those opportunities for your continued growth. So in your personal professional development, you're working on something new, you're building something new, understand and be okay with being a novice. It's okay to be the beginner. We've all been the beginner, right? But what you're learning, you'll be able to teach that forward with others. And it definitely has something to do with families. You know, whatever it is that you're learning and working on, whatever it is that you're doing, this is my win, woman and child card. It's the energy of family. And then you have the energy of generational. So it could have to do with generational trauma, generational family issues, helping other people to resolve those generational issues, as well as resolving those issues within yourself. So you're in a new beginning when it comes to your personal and professional development. Learn it. Do your best, right? Those are those energies of the four agreements. As long as you do your best, that's all you can ask yourself for. But you have to allow yourself to be the novice, to be the beginner, and allow yourself to learn. Don't expect yourself to have it all figured out, is what Spirit is saying. Don't expect yourself to be miles ahead of somewhere that you're just getting your feet wet in. It's okay to be a beginner. It's okay to, you know, we all start as a beginner in somewhere in aspects in our lives. We were a beginner in pre-K and kindergarten. You know, we were a, a beginner in our jobs and careers. We were a beginner when it came to how we deal with relations. We were beginner parents, right? When no one of us came with the rule book of how it was to be a mother or a father or a parent and what it was that we were meant to do. We didn't even get a rule book on how to be a child or, or a sibling. Those are the things that we had to learn. So allow yourself the learning, the learning curve to help you grow. So let's see what cycles, what's going on in your life. This is a cycle of you learning to trust you and learning how to in tune to your inner self and also learning how to come from your heart space and to open up your heart authentically and not block it off. You definitely have fears around heart. You definitely have fears around collaborating, working with others. I'm getting a runner energy here. It's like every time, you know, something comes in, something that kind of draws at your heart springs, something that makes you feel vulnerable, you have a tendency to run, right? Because you're afraid. Afraid of what? Primary focus, afraid of the sorrow, afraid of the heartbreak, afraid of the pain. 
and then you get trapped in that energy and that's all you can think about and then there's that guarding energy that re re repeat, repeats itself it's a repetitive pa pattern and that's the reason why the shadow work is coming up because you need to break the repetitive pattern and learn how to stay in the energy of grace so this is an energy of trusting yourself trusting your intuition allowing your emotions to flow in and with through you transmuting and changing it is also an energy that talks about healing so there's a lot of healing that's still required yet for you to do and it has to do with the shadow work that's coming up so how are you going to be spending your time and what actions are you taking you're going to be taking your time building yourself this is you becoming more strong you know this is you tapping into your leadership skills tapping into your um, manifesting skills tapping into that inner warrior where you're able to move past any obstacles or difficulties why because you believe in yourself because you're you're tapping into your inner courage your inner strength even though I'm a novice or a new beginner in this even though I've been hurt in the past I'm still willing to try I'm still willing to put myself out there I'm still willing to learn grow and expand let's see what is the energy that you're grateful for you're grateful for overcoming the fears right this is an energy that talks about fears it talks about hardships it talks about complications it talks about worry it talks about you know illusions and, and secrecy and not knowing the truth and but you're grateful that even though there may have been lots of complicated, difficult, hardship issues, problems that you've been able to overcome. You've been able to move through it. You face obstacles very courageously, rather you realize it or not. And that's what brought you into this energy of the spiritual warrior. That's what's bringing you into the energy of the king of wands. Someone who's very capable, very competent, very assertive, a leader, a warrior someone who is a pioneer you're pioneering something brand new so of course you don't know where it's going to lead right because it's brand new how do you know where it's going to lead but you can lead through intention you can you know what you want it to do and as long as you have a f clear focus and a plan then that's all you need and allow the universe to support you along the process and that's the reason why you're healing and you're learning how to open up and trust trust that whatever the universe is bringing in for you is exactly what you need at the exact time that you need it so you're overcoming your fears here and this is what you're grateful for you're grateful that you've been able to overcome your fears in the past and that's what's brought you into this very confident very competent very warrior ambitious inspired and driven energy so let's see what is the energy of you being your best self you still have doubts Aquarius you still have doubts and you know why you're doubting because you haven't let go of the sorrow look at these are all in alignment here because you haven't let go of the sorrow and the heartbreak of the past. Because you continue to let past experiences dictate your emotions and your fears and what you feel in the now. Even though you've overcome a tremendous amount of things, you're guarded and you're blocking yourself off from opening up in relationships. You're guarded and you're blocking yourself off. This is the energy of shadow needing to do the shadow work. And this energy falls in where? In the energy of what you're grateful for. So be grateful for this opportunity right now for you to do the shadow work so you can dispel this energy of feeling disconnected, not feeling loved, not feeling supported, not feeling as if though you belong, not feeling as if though you are enough. This is an energy of just not feeling you know adequate or, or satisfied or happy or you know you just always constantly feel as if though there's something that you're missing out on something that you don't have something that's lost here but you can't lose what is meant for you right you can't miss the opportunities that are destined for you you may not get them in that moment in time if you're not courageous enough to go after it but it'll still come back around for you if it's meant for you so let's see what is this energy here of your money mindset and your money mindset energy that's coming up here is an energy of the eight of swords there's something here that's going on in your money mindset where you're tied up right this is it and i'm really getting because of the simple fact that 
everything is all new to you. So there's lots of fear and worry here about this brand new beginning, this new path. That's exactly what it is. There's, there's just fear around it. And it's because of the story that you continue to tell yourself. This is also an aspect or an energy that talks about the early childhood programming and how we need to reframe and reprogram our life and our minds in a different way. So this Eight of Swords, you're cultivating and creating the disconnections and the fears because you haven't did the shadow work yet. So you keep telling yourselves, rather this is subconsciously, the same narrative and the same story that is not supportive of you, that is not helping you to grow. And it's going to affect your finances because of your mindset and the way you're thinking. So you need to reframe what you feel about money. You need to reframe what you feel about yourself. You need to create a different plan. You need to start a new narrative, something that's more... Um, affirmative, something that's more loving, something that's more supportive, something that's going to help you to build and not destroy. So let's see, what is your culminating energy of advice here? Temperance, be like temperance and just allow. Be in balance, everything in perfect, perfect moderation and in divine and perfect timing. Realize that you are enough. You know, realize that you are enough. It's Sagittarian energy. It's not Aquarian energy. But it's Sagittarius energy, and that Sagittarius energy is really asking you to open up to the, the magnificence of who you are. It's an energy that talks about having an adventurous spirit, exploring, allowing yourself to travel into new places and have new journeys, voyages that bring in new dreams and aspirations. It is also an energy that talks about what is learned and what is expressed. It talks about this is a time of spiritual activate, spiritual evolution for you and DNA activation to put you on a whole new level. So this is all about you growing and expanding in different ways. And the question you may want to ask yourself, beautiful Aquarius, is you may just may want to ask yourself, what is your understanding of your experience? and correlation to the world and all things in it. Where do you fit in? Because I'm getting this kind of energy. Have you carved out your niche, your space, or your place in the world? That'll help you to release some of the, some of the stress and anxiety that you're holding on to. But I want you to realize that that's old energetic, energetic energy and it is not your current energy. The only reason why it's your current energy is because you keep it alive in your thoughts and in your emotions. But this is an energy here that talks about researching. It talks about learning. This is a life lesson for you to learn that you can do it better. And there is victory and success on the horizons, especially when it has to do with business and whatever it is that you're doing for career. So let's go ahead and look at your, uh, um, your oracle message, your affirmation and your journaling prompt for the energy of shadow. So the shadow energy is talking about ego, subconscious, denial, suppression, and hidden gems. There is nothing to truly fear in the darkness unless you are unwilling to really dull thyself. You are being challenged to do some shadow work and to look at those things that you hold fear around. Even as a spiritual person, you are still a human. It is okay to have flaws and to have parts of yourself that are not perfect or integrated. Own your fears. Name them. Write about them. Find out why they trigger you. When you find out why, your ability to let these fears go increases. Ignorance is fear's best friend. This is the card that illuminating your subconsciousness and all of those messages that are lying underneath the hidden motivations, dark desires, and things long forgotten. Working with lucid dreaming, past life regression, deep meditation, and soul retrieval are all types of work that can aid you as you work through this. Shadow work is ultimately about knowing yourself, which is work that never ends. Asking questions is a good place to start. So you want to ask yourself, beautiful Aquarius, you want to ask yourself, what is your understanding of your experience in correlation to the world and all things? So your affirmation, beautiful soul, I illuminate and accept my shadow side. 
and your journaling prompt and personal reflection. What fears do I hold around embracing my shadow side? That has been your soul coaching session. Being Aquarius, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I'm honored and I am truly grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share this video with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn grow and expand together working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time and that unique soul is you until our soul paths cross again soul joiners i am wishing you love peace blessings happiness and abundance be on to you have a blessed and abundant day namaste